Very mangy. Yeah. We should call the um, Wombat Sanctuary up the road. Do you reckon that's the one from the shed? Could be. Nose. Reliable. No wonder the chooks were making such mm. a fuss. Yeah. Unfortunately, in this area, the populations of wombats are really high, but it's very common for them to have mange. Um, I maybe have seen one wombat that hasn't had it. So mange is a disease caused by a mite that burrows into their skin. The symptoms are it causes hair loss, and in serious cases, it can cause scabbing. I've noticed um, just from my observations, they seem to be more lethargic. Um, they get caught out during the day more often. Like the ones that are healthy, that you know, they're they're in burrows and they're hidden. Whereas, um, like we have a wombat that has been sheltering in the shed, which means it's not even burrowing; it's just finding a dark place. Yeah, it could be this one, but who knows? Could, this one could be one roaming through. They just lose their way. It's been a couple of times at work in the paddock where there's just been a wombat in the middle of the field, like not where it's meant to be. It's very sad. So I've just called the wildlife hotline uh, for our area and I've let them know about the wombat. Luckily, because we naturally record our life, the fact that we got a video of um, just how affected it is by mange and um, whether its skin is scabby or weeping or whatever else, the video is going to be super helpful for them to identify just how bad and how far along he is with the disease. Um, and hopefully someone will be around here in the next couple of days to help out. It sounds like he's going to need a dose of medicine to help him fight this. Um, I think, I think I read that it's four weeks uh, worth of medicine to help them cure it. But yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated as things happen. Um, and hopefully we'll get him the help he needs. So I think that wombat is still underneath our house. I'm kind of hoping that it is so that we can find it some care but it looks like Eris keeps looking over there and that's a pretty solid sign that that's where it's going to be. Move away! Mange is something that dogs can catch as well because it is just a mite that burrows into the skin so it is a really good idea to keep the dogs away from it and not to go too close to the wombat as well. One thing that I did learn when I was um, talking to the wildlife expert is that apparently wombats can jump one meter up in the air um, and have two teeth that can do quite a bit of damage to you. So it's pretty wise if you see one in the wild just to keep away from it because when those guys feel scared, their instinct tells them to run away. But if you corner them and make them feel scared enough to jump at you, they're going to do that. The fact that this wombat had mange is the reason we were able to get so close to it. Essentially what the mange is, is a mite that burrows into the skin, lays its eggs and then the skin begins to weep and that weeping causes all the scabbing over its body as well as the hair loss. But yeah, but the mange with the weeping actually causes them to go blind and deaf which is how you can get so close to them because they don't realise that you're there. Um, and that's a really that was one of the first questions he asked me on the phone is how close were you able to get to it before it ran away and that gave him a really good idea of just how bad it must be. I just got off the phone with the lady from the mange team who's happy to come by and give the wombat a dose of I think it's called Cyadactin or something like that which essentially is a medicine that's safe for animals um, and is poured over their backs uh, and it's supposed to fight the mange and you're supposed to give them a few courses over a few weeks to help them cure it. So I'm just going to go check if our little fella is still underneath the house um, or in the shed or somewhere accessible. And it sounds like because it's going to need to be given more than just once, she's going to show me how to do it and then I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> so let's have a look. That's definitely one of the ways he's coming in. What do we do if we see him? Do I need a torch? Look at the day today. It's so misty. All right. I reckon I'm gonna need a torch. I can definitely hear something though. Okay. Alright, 
try number two. Oh yes, there he is. Oh, can you see him? Uh, well, he's definitely still there, which is good. Curled up and sleeping. I wonder if that's good or bad. I guess um, we'll shoot off a text to the lady and see what she says. And let's see if we can help this little guy out. I did do my research about the medication before I invited them onto the property as well. Because we've got livestock and gardens, I wanted to make sure that anything that was being used to treat the wombat wasn't going to impact the land itself. And I read that when the cyadectin actually hits soil, it, it, it doesn't like go into it. It kind of stops working. So that's really good to know. Um, it can leach into water, so if you do have water sources on your property, that's something to be aware of. Um, as far as other animals go, it's used with other animals to treat them for mites. So if anything, it's kind of a good thing that it's around. And by treating the wombats for their mites, we're going to prevent it from being an issue on the property as a whole. And so our animals won't be getting infected by mites. Um, so it's definitely a valuable thing to do as well as just helping a little wombat out poor thing So you can see just how gentle the lady was she spoke about how when you're gentle and calm your energy Vibes with the wombat and helps them to stay calm as well She also poured the solution on really really slowly and gently she she um, Mentioned that you just put on a little bit at first see how the wombat reacts to it and then carefully pour it so you've got to go from the top of the neck down to their tailbone and you're trying to get it onto the part of them that still have hair. So she said that mange, the way you can tell how severe it is and the reason these guys kept saying that it's really, really severe, like he's got it really bad, is because of all of the hair loss on this wombat. So because they scratch, because it's irritating them, um, they pull off that hair from their body and so if they've been scratching for a while then more hair is going to be missing So he is going to need more treatment and it's going to be up to me to try do the next treatment So I'm pretty excited about that But for now, I think the wombat is still under the house and he's just gonna chill there and as he gets better It's going to definitely be harder to try treat him longer uh, but the more treatments you can get onto him in the next few weeks, the better it is going to be for his quality of life um, and to really give him a helping chance to fight off these mites. So we'll hope for the best and I'll keep you guys updated.